We shall be doing active and passive voice of future indefinite tense. Let's first have a look at the proper definition of active voice and passive voice along with their examples. The verb is said to be in active voice if the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action and the object receives the action. In simple words, we can say that if the subject is performing the action and the object is receiving the action in a sentence, the verb is said to be in its active voice form. For example, she will sing a song. You can see that she is the subject or doer of the action in this sentence. Will here is the auxiliary or helping verb. Sing is the transitive verb. You already know that the verb which has direct object is known as transitive verb. And the direct object in this sentence is a song. While when the subject of the sentence is not the doer of the action but is acted upon by the verb, it is said to be in the passive voice form. For example, a song will be sung by her. In this sentence, a song is the object which has taken the position of the subject. The sentence which was mentioned above has been converted into its passive voice form here. That is why a song has been taken out in the start of the sentence. Sung here is the verb in its passive voice form and will be here is the auxiliary verb. By here is the compulsory addition that you always do in your passive voice sentence. Her here is the subject which has taken the position of the object. You can see this she was the subject in this sentence. Now it has been brought in the end of the sentence. That is why its form has been changed also. You have to follow certain rules to convert the active voice sentence of future indefinite tense into its passive voice form. The first rule is that the object takes the position of the subject. The second rule is that you change will or shall into will be or shall be. The third rule says that you always use third form of the verb along with by in your passive voice sentence. The fourth rule states that convert the pronouns into the passive form. For example, we shall take tea. Now, following the active voice formula, Actually, following this formula, the active voice sentence of future indefinite tense has been written. Now, we are going to convert it into its passive voice form following all these four rules. First, we shall change the position of subject and object. Then, we will add will be or shall be. Then we will add the third form of the verb along with by and then we will change the pronouns. And your sentence would look like this. T will be taken by us. You can see that T was the object in the sentence. That is why it has been taken out in the start of the sentence. And with T we will use the auxiliary verb will. In the given sentence. Your auxiliary verb was shall, but 
you should keep this thing in your mind that according to the subject, you should change the auxiliary verb also. You will not use shall here. Then you add be, taken, the third form of the verb, by and us. You change be into us. Now, this is the negative sentence of future indefinite tense. We shall not take tea. You already know that following this formula, the negative sentence of future indefinite tense has been written. First, you should identify, then you will be able to convert the sentence into its passive voice form. Your sentence would look like this. T will not be taken by us. Let's look at the next statement which is the interrogative sentence of future indefinite tense. Shall we take T? I have identified with the help of this formula that this is the future indefinite tense and it's an active voice form. Then I will convert it into its passive voice form like this. Will would come in the start of the sentence because it's the interrogative statement. Then you will add T. Then you will add B. Taken the third form of verb. By and us. And your sentence would become Will T be taken by us? Let's do some exercise. Your active sentence is He will recognize me. Now you can see that in this sentence he is the subject. Will is the auxiliary verb. Recognize is the form of the verb which is the first form of the verb. Me here is the object. Now you will write the you will take out the object in the start of the sentence and your sentence would look like this. I will be recognized by him. Now you see, following those four rules, number one, you change the position of subject and object. Number two, you use will be or shall be. Number three, you use third form of verb along with by. And number four, you change the pronoun. You have written this sentence. Number two, the doctor will not give me a medicine. Now you identified by will not give that this is the negative sentence of future indefinite tense. You will convert it like this. I will not be given a medicine by the doctor. Now you see me is the object so you will take it out in the start of the sentence and it would be I will not be because will not is showing that this is the negative sentence. So you will say will not be. Then you will add given as the third form of the verb a medicine object and by the doctor. Number three. Will you buy new clothes? You see that new clothes here is the object. You will take it out in the start of the sentence. And before that you will have will. Because it's your interrogative sentence, you will say, Will new clothes be bought by you? Number four, he will sell things on credit. Now, things here is this subject, uh, sorry, object. You will take it out in the start of the sentence in the position of the subject. And your sentence would look like this. Things will be sold on credit. By him, you can either omit or write in the bracket. Number five, shall we help you? This is the interrogative sentence of future indefinite tense. You will convert it into passive voice like this. Will you be helped by us? Number six. 
I shall not ask you a question. Now this is the interrogative, sorry, negative. A question will not be asked to you or you will not be asked a question. In the given sentence, you and our question are the direct and indirect objects. If you take out you in the start of the sentence, your sentence would look like this. You will not be asked a question. If you take out our question in the start of the sentence, you will say a question will not be asked to you. Now, I want you to practice the following and convert them into their passive form. These are the sentences from future indefinite tense in their affirmative, negative and interrogative forms. I want you to convert them into their passive forms and after you have done your work, you may match your answers from this solution. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.